Before we get started writing our application, we need to go over the things that you will need in order to follow along with this course. Now, this is an ASP.NET application, and you're probably thinking that you need Visual Studio. Well, yes and no. Yes, because that is what I'm going to be using. And if you want to follow along exactly using the tools that I'm using, you will need Visual Studio. However, we are getting to the point to where you don't need Visual Studio to write ASP.NET applications. Because at the time of this writing, we are very close to the release of the next version of ASP.NET, which has MVC 6. And right now, ASP.NET is completely open source. But whenever MVC 6 and everything else is officially released, then you will be able to use whatever development tools that you want on just about whatever platform that you want. So as long as you are using an environment that lets you write ASP.NET applications, then you are good to go. So that's the first thing you need. Now, if you want to use Visual Studio, then you can go to visualstudio.com and you can download the free version of Visual Studio, which is now called Community. Microsoft used to have several different versions that were called Express Editions. They were trimmed down versions of Visual Studio that targeted different types of development. There was one for web, one for desktop development, another for Windows 8 development. Well, now we just have Visual Studio Community, which is a free version of the professional version of Visual Studio. It has all of the same bells and whistles. You can also install and use extensions. So I recommend that if you want to use Visual Studio, use Visual Studio Community. Now, if you want to pay for Visual Studio, then feel free to do so. You have to purchase an MSDN subscription in order to do that, but you get more than Visual Studio. You get a lot of developer licenses for a lot of Microsoft products like desktop and server operating systems, SQL Server, and a lot of other things. Now for the free version of Visual Studio, just go to visualstudio.com, go to where it says free developer tools, and then click on download. That will download the installer, just run it, follow the prompts, and you are good to go. Now the other thing that you will need is a database server and I'm going to be using Microsoft's SQL Server 2014 Express. This is a free version of SQL Server. So it has a lot of the features, but it lacks some other things. But as far as development is concerned, it's very good. You can develop your application using an Express Edition, and then you can deploy it to a full-blown version of SQL Server without any issues. And the easiest way to get to the website for downloading SQL Server Express is to simply search for SQL Server Express and it will take you to this page. And then you just want to download SQL Server 2014 Express or whatever version is the latest version for you. Now you do have to log in with a Microsoft account in order to download that, but the installation is fairly simple. Just be sure that whenever you install SQL Server that you also download the management studio because that gives you the graphical tools that you'll need in order to manage the database. Now, Visual Studio has some graphical tools, but at the end of the day, the management studio is what you would want. Now, there's one other tool that I will be using that you don't have to have, but I'm going to mention it anyway, and it is called ReSharper. This is an extension that you can install and use within Visual Studio. And it adds a lot of features to Visual Studio. Now, I'm not going to be using a lot of these features. In fact, I will probably use very little, but it does add things to the user interface. So if you do not have ReSharper installed, what you see on the screen will be slightly different than what you have on yours. But they do have a free 30-day trial. And if you do a lot of development with Visual Studio, then I highly recommend ReSharper. It's one of those types of tools that whenever you use it, you don't want to ever not use it. And that is made by a company called JetBrains, and they have a lot of other .NET-based tools as well. So once you get everything installed, you'll be ready to start writing our application, and we will start doing that in the next lesson.